his pen was not the corporations, taxation, unemployment, education, or any of the problems of our misled generation. It's what flows through your veins, the blood, sweat, and tears full of disdain. Not Hamilton or Washington, but the ones that felt the subjugation. Because there's no Google translation of the natives that gave rise to this nation. Yet we pay tribute to the ones that raped them and enslaved them. Because, but our history was written by the conquistadors. Lost to the sea is Guacanagari, but I still hear his cries. I see the pain of his eyes. Because he was noble enough to give his own crown to open the sea to trade. Not for his people to be caged, for these gold explorations that never satisfied Columbus's need or Spain's greed. So they united the tribes as they fought with pride and cried to the gods. Instead, faced with a cross and nailed as if it were holy by the very crusaders of the Middle Ages. 600,000 natives brought to their knees in the name of Christianity. His penny was the promise of a promised land. Worried about dominating another man while he ran against glass filled with sand. <coughs> As a poor conquistador, he wanted more and more, but he kept his hopes on the ship so his dreams would not go overboard. The land back at home does not belong to me, but thee. We have to think outside the box in order to sail or circle C. And X in all our visions all we see. And even if we don't land in India, we can still name them Indians. Prelude the genocide of millions. Confuse the word noble for minions. Invade five kingdoms in the Caribbean. Slither in the jungle with amphibians because we are snakes. More than a rat is at stake. While we impale indigenous hearts with these states. We live to conquer fear. Our bodies dreams to conquer fears. I mean, what else would you do? the year 1492. <laughs> His panic is discovering what has already been discovered. He is comfortable knowing that it is a country composed of immigrants, a culture formed from what they stole from the native villages. With him, he carries the beliefs of God, liberty, and patriotism. Slithering through a desert, grabbing hold of a cactus, above soars an eagle, a symbol of freedom. He is on a path to a country where the publicity over ethnicity is full of negativity, but he might just be killed at the border or harassed on his way to work in Arizona. Fear of not planning his trip too specific to make it through the Pacific, but if he goes to the Gulf of Mexico, they will catch him and never let him go. Or going over the Atlantic and possibly drowning is his panic. So what does the red on the flag mean? Simply that someone had to die for the land's dreams. His panic was defining the underlying question, what makes him a Latino? He asked his parents, but the only thing they wanted him to see was the American dream. To him, Latino was not a culture, but a classification used to simplify nearly 30 nations. He knew that his generation would be the demise of his people, and the saddest part is, they would go down peaceful. Not content with the hand dealt, he felt he needed to take a stand. He wanted to escape his fate, which was to fail or sin, knowing all people were created equally, but for some reason, his people were called illegal aliens. His panic was that his culture would be lost and he would be lost with it, making him one more number in the negative statistic. He refused to be listed as another high school dropout, a teenager on trial, a Latino suffering from a disease, or a father who never met his child. His panic was that, he, was that he'd be stranded in the neighborhood he was raised until he picked at the locks, refusing to be another bird cage. That day, he walked out on the street corner, raised fists, eyes glissed from a passionate cry, and screamed out at the top of his lungs, I will not let my culture die. Thank you.